I'm Dr. Carola Arndt, and I'm a pediatric oncologist at Mayo Clinic. Today we're going to discuss Ewing sarcoma. Ewing sarcoma is a very rare tumor of bone and soft tissue, and in the United States it has an incidence of 2.1 per million children. The peak age at which we see Ewing sarcoma is usually in the teenage years or in the early 20s, although certainly Ewing sarcoma can be seen in childhood also. As I said, Ewing sarcoma is a tumor of bone and soft tissue, and when it arises in teenagers in particular, it often presents as pain or swelling around a joint or at another large muscle or bone in the body. A lot of times, initially, it's thought to be just a sprain or a sports injury because since these tumors tend to arise in teenagers and patients in their 20s, many times these patients are athletic and might pass it off initially just as being a sports injury. But telltale signs that something more serious is going on is when the pain or swelling doesn't resolve within about a week or so with conservative measures or it's clear that it's swelling that's more than just a sprain, that will generally tip the physician or patient off that it's something more serious. The approach to a patient with Ewing sarcoma is to first uh, obviously make the diagnosis and to do a complete evaluation of the patient to determine if the tumor has metastasized or spread to parts outside of where the primary tumor originated. And to make a diagnosis involves getting a biopsy of the tumor, which is either done surgically or uh, via a CT or ultrasound guided biopsy to get a piece of the tumor to look at under the microscope and confirm the diagnosis. Once the diagnosis is confirmed, then the patient needs to undergo a complete evaluation, which includes a chest CT scan, uh, an MRI of the involved area where their primary tumor is if they haven't already had it, a bone scan, uh, they may also include a PET scan. PET scanning is used more and more to determine sites of spread of the tumor as well as response to treatment, and also an evaluation of the bone marrow because Ewing sarcoma is a tumor that can also spread to the bone marrow, not just to other bones, but to bone marrow. It's quite important that the initial evaluation of a patient with Ewing sarcoma as well as the biopsy be performed at a center which is experienced in managing such rare tumors because they will then involve the multidisciplinary team and do all the necessary required special studies of the tumor itself and also importantly that the biopsy site uh, and the biopsy tract can be performed in such a way that it's incorporated in the ultimate, um, ultimate surgical procedure or ultimately in the, in the radiation field if radiation is going to be used to treat it. The treatment of Ewing sarcoma is truly multidisciplinary and the treatment is usually directed by a pediatric or medical oncologist in conjunction with the surgeon and or radiation oncologist because it will ultimately involve treatment with chemotherapy as well as treatment with surgery and or radiation therapy. Depending on the site of the tumor, depending on the response of the tumor to chemotherapy, ultimately surgery plus uh, radiation therapy, if indicated, will be used to perform what we call local control of Ewing's uh, sarcoma followed by additional chemotherapy. Over the years, we've made major advances in curing Ewing sarcoma, and much of this has been through participation in clinical trials. At Mayo Clinic, we are part of a, an organization called the Children's Oncology Group, which is a group of over 200 institutions, mainly in the United States and North America, but also in Europe, Australia and New Zealand, so it's really an international group, but based in, in the United States. And it has greater than 200 institutions. And the goal of the Children's Oncology Group 
is to improve the outcome and cure rates of children with a wide variety of cancers, as well as to understand more about the causes of childhood cancer and the biologic aspects of childhood cancer. One of the most recent trials completed by the Children's Oncology Group in treatment of patients with non-metastatic Ewing sarcoma showed that treatment of Ewing sarcoma with a chemotherapy regimen delivered every two weeks compared to every three weeks improved the cure rate of patients with non-metastatic Ewing sarcoma. So now that we have the results showing that treatment every two weeks improves the outcome over treatment every, of every three weeks, the current study is treating patients with Ewing sarcoma every two weeks, but looking at the addition of an additional drug called topotecan to the treatment of Ewing's. So the standard treatment currently is a combination of drugs called vincristine, doxorubicin, which is the same thing as adriamycin, and cyclophosphamide, alternating with iphosphamide and etoposide given every two weeks. That treatment regimen is being compared to vincristine, doxorubicin, cytoxin, iphosphamide, etoposide, and topotecan cyclophosphamide. Also, that regimen is uh, being given every two weeks to see if the incorporation of topotecan into the current standard treatment regimen can improve the outcome. Um, it's really only through participation in clinical trials that we have made major advances over the past 20 years in being able to cure patients with Ewing sarcoma. Clinical trials aren't for everybody. For patients who would prefer not to participate in a clinical trial, that's perfectly okay. The standard treatment regimen, as I mentioned, at this point in time is vincristine, doxorubicin, cytoxin, alternating with ifosamide etoposide at two-week intervals. One of the unique aspects of care of children with cancer at Mayo Clinic is the multidisciplinary approach that we use. The pediatric or medical oncologist directs the care of a patient with Ewing sarcoma, and we always incorporate both um, orthopedic oncology and radiation oncology if necessary. And we, from the beginning, work as a multidisciplinary unified team in caring for the patient. In addition to that, the patients are usually seen at the same time in the same place by the entire team. The team will convene before seeing the patient, come up with a treatment plan, and then present that plan to the patient, as I mentioned, as a unified, unified team, with either the pediatric or medical oncologist sort of coordinating the comprehensive team approach to the patient. So the patient isn't running around all over the place uh, trying to meet with different physicians. The physicians will usually come to the patient and discuss the treatment so that the patient can ask the physicians questions um, at the same time. Again, the treatment and cure rate of Ewing sarcoma has improved significantly over the past 10 or 20 years through the incorporation of the results of the clinical trials done as part of the Children's Oncology Group. And on occasion, appropriate clinical trials are also available, which may be involving international cooperation in some international studies. Thank you very much.